I think people want to see this. Yeah. You know, the process. Too bad that I wasn't taking it while you were gluing it. Just a little bit. But. Oh, no, this is perfect. So then, so we got glue all along, PL all along. We're brad nailing. We lined it up at the back. We're working our way forward because starting the other direction definitely did not work. And uh, this is this is how we make the sausage, I guess. So I'm just gonna sink that so it's gonna bite into the wood, and the bearing will follow the the hole we're supposed to be. The edge. Following. Yeah. Jordan is in a hurry to cut this uh, piece of board out because the window is not curved or what's the word yeah. and he wants the I need that to rest. edge he wants the edge to be <laughs> uh, to be glued and, and yeah. tight to the frame or whatever we you want to call this it to come down yeah and seal it all that glue also this here I gotta bring the strap back now Kimberly said that we should cut it and clamp it yep yeah maybe that's not gonna work not sure if we should scrape that glue out right now. Maybe we'll maybe we'll try scraping that out. I've got a and then we'll we'll apply new glue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, so we had to route route out this hole because it's not we're having troubles pulling this this glue on down flush, and we need that flat for the window. And, and now we're scraping up all this glue. Old, old glue, dry this glue. Is the, yeah. It's all it's all this glue's all caked up with. Uh, yeah, I see that sawdust and it's starting to dry. And uh, so we've got to get all this off of here because the girls have gone to get uh, fresh I got a tube. glue. Fresh glue. Tube, yeah, because we're out. So then we'll glue this once I get back. Glue it and brace it. Glue it, clamp it, brace clamp it, it, yeah, clamp it, everything. Yeah. And then uh, put some weight on it, whatever we can do. So that the, uh, what do you call that window with no curvature, <laughs> flat window? <laughs> Uh, stargazer window, window they call them. The, the, it's a the, stargazer window, but the roof is curved, but the, the window, is curved, win yeah. window is not. So that's the challenge of a good flat finish, right? I think so. Yeah, we were gonna put the window. We were gonna put that window on the flat edge. Oh yeah. And we yeah. decided not to because positioning. Positioning, yeah. It's a little like then it's over your body, like for the size of this trailer, yeah. it's over your body. Yeah. And then on top of that. Um, then all the water sits flat on it yeah, and yeah. It puddles up and and I've seen a lot of people I've seen some people saying uh, that their window same same kind of window that it'll puddle up and kind of degrade over time or something and then kind of leak a little and so now with it on the curved uh, wind not flat yeah the water will run down yeah because there's no I think there, it's called uh, like weeping right normally you've got weeping on a window uh, on an RV window but this doesn't, this stuff doesn't have it. All right, so we have our roof on. This was a lot of work. <clears throat> we screwed it up uh, really bad the first time we tried. It was just uh, my girlfriend and I, and we started here and tried to put the wood on um, moving towards the back and we, um, found out it wasn't as straight as we'd like and had to rip it all off and it was a very frustrating process so we got um, four people to do this the second time and it's gone much better we've dry fit the window and the vent um, the holes are cut for those and I'll show you what this window looks like I was a little concerned about how this would turn out but uh, it's going well so far so we put the, the roof on, glued it down, brad nailed it down, and I think you can make that out there. It's gotta come down, this is about three inches here, and it's gotta come from a higher height, bend down, and flatten out in you know the vertical and horizontal directions here. But you can see there's a bit of a gap there. When we put our aluminum, when we put our aluminum on there, we'll cut those holes out and push the aluminum down into this and um, I've got to phone the the guy I got the window off and double check I think you don't you don't screw this down it actually just there's an inner trim ring to this window that'll clamp it down and uh, we'll fill this with um, looks like they ask us to use butyl tape 
and they provide screws to clamp this so this side here came up a little more so I'll have a bumpy trim there but should be all right should be able to seal everything up that's how it looks and on the inside we've got our cabinets our vent dome light and a nice light above our where our heads will be when we're laying down 